Now that we have the front done, we're going to do the exact same kind of thing for the back. Let's go ahead and make a new sheet. So place views, new sheet, base. We're going to drop in the back side here. And I want to see that. I'll show an ISO view as well and a side view just like the other one. Uh, we're going to show a section view going all the way through this part. Place that right up here. And then move the text up above it so we can put our dimensions down below. We should be able to show distance side to side. This says 0.17 uh, or 0.165. So let's make sure that shows all of the digits there. We're going to go to annotate and grab our uh, center points. And again, we're interested in just a couple of things here. We want center to center is three inches. We want this inside diameter is the 0.21. And the outside diameter is the 0.26. Assuming you have both of those correct, uh, the other things that we are interested in would again be showing that this is a 0 0.025. And we're going to add that TYP in there again for typical. And all the way around, that thickness is 0.025. I don't care to know what your dimensions are for your pattern. But it would be good to know how much surface area we have here that's keeping that in place. It looks like 0 0.04 is accurate. And 0.14 is also accurate. So there we go. We want to make sure this is shaded. And we're going to do one more thing. Uh, let's go ahead and add a dimension to show the overall length of this. From side to side here. And we'll go out to three places after the decimal, even though it goes a lot further in that. And top to bottom here as well. This will let whoever is uh, purchasing this from you have a better idea of how big this thing actually is. Make sure you put your name in here. And label the other one front so this one can be back. We're going to go back to the front one, that'd be sheet two, and do the exact same thing. So I'm going to add this dimension side to side here. And we'll go out to three places after and top to bottom here as well. And I know it says diameter. I'd rather it not say diameter, but that's okay. It is what it is. I'm assuming it says diameter on sheet three as well, which it does. That's not terrible. Uh, it still lets us know top to bottom is one inch, that this has a thickness of 0.15, that it has an overall length of 3.875, and the distance between holes is about three inches. That should be everything that we need. Make sure that you go to save all of this. And after you have saved the file yourself for uh, technical drawings, then you go back to the big eye up here. You go file, save as, save a copy as. We're going to make this into a PDF file. And options, we want to save all sheets. And this will give you something that you can turn in through Canvas. So I will review this and let you know if there's anything that I'd like for you to change. And any of those changes, you can get your points back. But I do want this to look as nice and professional as possible.